There is a whole landscape of innovation funding available to companies in the UK and Europe. Starting with um, the major fund Horizon 2020, uh, administered by the European Commission, which is a, an 80 billion euro programme running to the end of uh, 2020, as the name suggests, and uh, is the world's largest research and innovation fund, through to smaller initiatives um, in the UK, Innovate UK being a prime example of that, but in all cases, funding available to large and actually to small businesses as well. These funds are available to help businesses um, across the UK and Europe basically to become more competitive, to help tackle the growing um, global competition, to help companies innovate, develop products and services, and in fact processes that add value to their customers and potentially solve challenges at the same time. That might include um, meeting legislation, improving energy efficiency, reducing waste. But um, that's what, in, the, in a nutshell, it's designed to do, help companies become more competitive. Well, the first thing to bear in mind is the benefits that funding can bring to an organisation. These are grants, not loans. They're non-repayable. There's no equity dilution. So some would regard this as the most powerful form of business capital available anywhere. Why is it relevant to the food industry? Well, as we know, the food industry is um, run on very tight margins in many cases. Um, legislation is changing and of course customer needs are changing very rapidly. So this is a great opportunity for companies to tackle those really ambitious projects that they would love to take forward but perhaps can't financially justify, perhaps because of the risk involved in doing that. Perhaps they need to work with other organisations to realise their dream for a new product or process and that can be risky and it can be expensive. So this grant funding is designed to overcome those challenges and actually to contribute to the cost of doing this. One of the first questions we are asked is, how do we access these funds? Uh, where are they? How do they work? And of course, there are a myriad of funds, again, in the UK and across Europe. So identifying the right fund for your specific needs is an important question. Horizon 2020 is available and there is comp a comprehensive information available on that. There are many, many other types of, of fund depending on your specific needs and of course depending on the size of the company as well. Some of the funds are designed for more conceptual developments, so taking an idea perhaps through to a, a proof of a concept. Others take a proof of concept through to a prototype or a demonstrator. And other funds will actually take that demonstrator through to near market readiness. So it's a very complex environment, a number of different funds available. The best thing is actually to seek some help and advice in identifying what is right for you. But the two immediate sources of information are Horizon 2020, very comprehensive portal, and Innovate UK as well. So what are the, uh, the challenges associated with accessing funding? Well, they're particularly relevant to uh, the small to medium sized businesses, the SMEs of this world. Grant funding is very time consuming. Um, it is um, riddled in many cases with bureaucracy and administration. And of course, many companies, they have a business to run, so it can be very difficult to take time out to work on uh, a grant application. But um, my advice and the advice of the company is always to seek help when you're looking to access grant funding. There are organisations out there that can hold your hand and take you through the entire process in developing your idea, actually putting together a proposal, because most of these grant applications are in the form of a proposal, whether that be 10 pages or 150 pages in some cases, you need help in, in pulling that together and actually submitting the, the application to. Uh, a lovely example of the complexity of applying for funding was illustrated recently with a, an organisation that came to us having tried to win funding for themselves. Uh, they had a great idea, but unfortunately that wasn't conveyed in their proposal. They asked if we could help in that, uh, in that process, 
cut a long story short, we worked with them to develop the idea, we created the proposal, and it was funded the second time around, so first time around for, for us. And of course, that enabled them to concentrate on their business while we took care of all of the writing and the administration of putting that application together. We also helped them with the preparation of the contract, a process called contract preparation, which can be quite a daunting process in its own right.